just wanted to do a quick video of uh, what I consider to be, I guess, the, uh, the ultimate night light. And there it is. Bright enough, I would say, say so. So it goes from the top of the stairs uh, down to the, uh, the next set and even lights up underneath. Um, I could extend it. I'm, I'm on the fence about doing that. I don't think I need the lights all the way that far. Um, so the way it works is it's hooked up to a, uh, a motion sensor that just plugs into any outlet and then the device itself plugs into the motion sensor. So of course then it's triggered with, well, motion. Uh, and there's a, uh, you can set it to shut off after I think a minute, five minutes, and 15 minutes, something like that. So I just have it set to shut off after one minute. Um, and you can see that the cable plugs in, it's not the prettiest to install, I'll probably get uh, a white cord, uh, extension cord, uh, that goes in at a 90 degree angle and then tuck it under the baseboards and then just goes under the closet over to the uh, uh, the controller unit which you can't really see because these lights are so bright but yeah there it is and there's the infrared receiver and then the lights start going underneath and uh, the, the lights themselves are just uh, an eBay kit uh, and the controller too um, it all comes together for about 20, 20 to 30 dollars shipped if uh, I mean you could pay extra to get it shipped faster um, it's generally free shipping art from from, uh, from China, um, but they're really good quality. I'm really impressed with them. Uh, they have 3M tape on the back. Uh, the, the other thing that uh, is a little bit not as straightforward, as you can see, there's a the wire here. Uh, in fact, I'll get around to the other side. Um, there's actually another wire going across there. Uh, so you have to buy these um, kind of clips. Uh, you can you can cut the strip every three LEDs, and then these clips go on, and they've got uh, connectors on them, of course, to uh, 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 for the continuity. And then you can use them for going around the bends, or in this case, I had a damaged strip that I, or not damaged, I just had a, a spare piece just to to make this last bit here. So I had to put those little white clips on um, to join them all together. So. Very easy to do. Uh, they're not permanent at all. The the clips you can open them up and uh, and take them off, rejig them, do whatever you need. Uh, now one of the other really good features about this is if it's too bright, um, you've probably seen these before. There's a remote that comes with it also, um, so you can turn down the brightness <laughs> a little bit, a lot. Oh, you can see there's another light on downstairs. That's not part of this. And as you've probably noticed on the remote, you got colors. Oh boy, do you have colors. Uh, there's about probably 15 preset colors. And if I get back to white so I can see my remote. Well, let's turn it up here. Uh, there's also, can't really read it, it's out of focus, but uh, DIY. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can set your own colors. You can adjust how much red, green, and blue you want in each one. Uh, then you can make it flash. You can make it flash a lot faster. Ooh. And you can make it go really slow. Um, so that's actually more of a fading effect. Oh, there we go. There's the flashing. So that goes between the flashing and the fading. Uh, there's also just pure white flash, and this one can get pretty wild when you crank it up all the way. Just like the strobe light effect, which is very cool. Um, so there's strictly the fading. We'll slow that down a little bit. Um, yeah, and there's a few other. I think there's you can jump through seven colors. You can jump just through the three colors. Um, or again, you can just pick any color you want. I also have the, some of my uh, DIY ones, but super, super dim red. Super dim green, super dim blue, uh, a super dim white, and a purple one too. I haven't used the sixth one yet. Uh, and another thing, oh, I, I haven't been moving, <coughs> so not enough motion. So this will be a good uh, way to see that it, when it comes back on, I had just selected this color right before it shut off. It remembers the last color and brightness and everything you selected. So you don't have to worry about uh, having to reset it every time because that that would be a bit of a drag too. So install was easy. Um, probably took me an hour to really get everything cut up, measured, 
stuck on, wired up, and off to the races. Um, so as long as you get all the right parts, like I say, it's the LED strip kit off eBay, or you can probably get it on Amazon too. Um, the, uh, the motion sensor from the, uh, the local hardware store. Um, and then, oh yeah, and those other connectors too, um, because you, you definitely can't do a, uh, a, a right degree bend when they're laid out, you couldn't go around this corner too well without it um, just not sticking in the corners and it, it just doesn't bend nicely in all directions. So you definitely want those wires instead. It makes it uh, just a lot easier. In a few places, I do have some black Velcro too, just kind of covering things up and holding it in place, um, which you can't really notice uh, when the light's on. There's a little bump there. Of course, once I point it out, I'm sure you can notice it. But this might be actually a better close-up of these clips. Um, I just have one piece here because the uh, these just come in uh, standard. I think it was I want to say 30 millimeter lengths. Sounds about right. Uh, so this one wasn't long enough to reach from from one bar to the other. So I just put a uh, one little piece here um, of the LED strip, and I'll probably color that black or cover it up with some. some black tape or something like that to get it to blend in a bit better here but uh, yeah otherwise you get all those pieces slap it together and you're off to the races it works really well and it uh, it's it's a real eye pleaser hope you enjoyed